Okay, man, y'all are probably thinking I'm a glutton for punishment, and I kind of believe I am too. A lot of people say my bike is a lemon. Uh, I say it's a piece of crap, and uh, you know that I have changed out to a 203 millimeter Bosnail floating rotor and that along with everything else I've done got rid of the squeak in my front brakes but I can tell that the inside caliper there's two pistons the inside caliper is stuck the only one that's breaking is the outside one and I can't get a good angle on the camera to physically show you that so Unfortunately, you just got to take my word on that. But it's Saturday morning. I'm waiting for it to warm up so I go for a ride and do my errands. And I'm going to take this apart again and see if I can get both pistons to work. Before I do that, I want to show you how this compression fitting right there in the middle where the hydraulic hose goes onto the caliper is cross-threaded. They couldn't even get that started and threaded on straight. So I gotta hope I don't have to take that apart because that'll never go back and never not leak. Surprised that it's not leaking now. But I'm just showing you, I'm documenting everything. Look at that. Cross-threaded. China! All right, so here's my proof. I've got the caliper off and squeezing the brakes. Only the outside piston has the majority of the movement. Let's see if we can fix this. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm spreading it out all the way with a this is a little plastic trim removal tool for my cars. But that's what it should look like. And here we go, squeezing the brakes slowly. Both of them are wanting to move, but the outside one continues to make all the movement until you lock it up here in the middle. That's at full compressed. That should be equal in the middle. That's why your brakes squeak. Because you're getting maximum pressure from the left side there and minimal pressure from the right side and it flexes the rotor to that right side or the inside. That's your squeal. Brake clean, non-chlorinated. Let's see. If we put enough of that crap in there and then squeeze the brakes, pump them. Look at that. The inside one does not move. God, I'm in such limited space here. But squeeze this back in. Get the left side to close. Here we go. Left side's closed. I'm gonna clamp down and try to lock that down myself by hand. And let's see if the right one will, the inside one will come out. Look at that, now it works. But I don't know if you can tell it, but that thing is at a really odd angle. It's not coming out straight. All right, let's see if we can get that thing to compress properly. There we go. 
I actually felt smooth going in. And I'm gonna do this. Let's do this one more time. Let's do it a couple of times with the left side locked up and closed. You can see that left side still wanted to come out. That felt good. Now let's compress it. Doesn't want to go all the way in. Here we go. All right, here we go again. Pumping it. There goes the left side. The right side does not come out. Wants to, but it just keeps hanging up. I don't know if there's anything that I can do short of breaking the connection, breaking the two halves of the caliper apart and going inside. So I really think I'm going to submit this to Juiced and see what their response is. Okay, last try. The only way that one on the inside moves is if the one on the left stays compressed. They're not equal. Yep. And then let me see if I can tilt the lens up some more. And you can see the uh, cross threaded ferrule on there. All right. Let me see. I'm going to spray it one more time. And then I'm going to put it all back together. And we're going to call this what it is a piece of shit. Let's see if Juice will send me a new front brake system. Okay, how many times have I said last try? Here we go. Squeezing the brake, pump it, pump it. Just very lightly, I'm very lightly pumping it. The left keeps working its way out and the right one does nothing if I keep going that. Left one's going to come completely out of its socket. So that's where I am stopping. All right, Juiced, fix me. Okay, I'm trying to find something that's equivalent to the thickness of the rotor. This is about as close as I can find. And the angles of the dangles. Okay, anyways, let's see which pistons close in. Okay, I'm locked, and look at that. Do you see that? All the piston movement is on that outside piston, and very little to none on the inside piston. And I am compressed, holding my hand on the brake off and that's where it goes back to it should be equal and centered and both of the pistons coming in equally not like this and I know the back brakes are the exact same way but I'm not taking them off to document it at this time and I'm all back together Three spinning brakes work, but I'm only getting half of my stopping power because only half of the power of the pistons are working. All right, so here's what I recommend you doing. As you know, I like recommending shit. 
if you got a five millimeter socket and a three millimeter one of those things to take off the pads, pull your calipers off. It only takes a minute or two, as you can tell, and check to see if both of your pistons are working. I can almost guarantee you that the inside piston is the only one working. I got the same problem on the back. All right, man, that's it. Don't buy juice products until they get this stuff fixed. See ya. I've just decided while I'm editing this video, if I can get 10,000 subs by December 31st, 2020, I will do a drawing from my subs and I will give this piece of shit bike away. I know that's a big thing and I doubt that'll happen, but I want to throw it out there. All right, see ya.